True justice has not been served today. We do not dispute that the murderer is mentally unwell and has been for a number of years. However, the premeditated planning, the collection of lethal weapons, hiding in the shadows and the brutality of the attacks are of an individual who knew exactly what he was doing. He knew entirely that it was wrong, but he did it anyway. It took repeated questioning from us to finally receive an answer late last Friday afternoon to the question of his outstanding warrant issued September 2022 for a vicious attack on a police officer, such a violent assault that he was tasered. To the Assistant Chief Constable, Rob Griffin, who finally released this information publicly yesterday, I say this. You have blood on your hands. If you had just done your jobs properly, there's a very good chance my beautiful boy would be alive today. We will never come to terms with the loss of our beloved daughter, Grace, and how she lost her life, her heroic actions. She was the gift to us, and she was the gift to the country. Whilst we have never questioned this man's diagnosis, the lack of toxicology, contemporaneous mental health assessment, as well as missed opportunities to divert his lethal path will forever play on our minds. And this requires further review. My family has suffered a great loss. The children who my father had a positive impression on have suffered a great loss. The city of Nottingham has suffered a great loss. The fails from the police, the CPS, the health service have resulted in the murder of my father and these two innocent students. The NHS Mental Health Trust have to be held accountable for their failures along with the police. All we can do is hope that in due course some sort of justice will be served. This man has made a mockery of the system and he has got away with murder.